Hi, I'm Wonkster1970, and today I'm going to be working on reviving this custom PC. So, let's get started. This processor had a couple pins that were bent over down in this corner. I think I've got them pretty straight, and I've looked over the rest of it. It seems to be okay. We'll see if it goes back together. This is a good AM4 heatsink mounting bracket. Here is one that broke off. And this is the 3D printed one that I'm going to be replacing it with. The 3D printed bracket is installed. Got some thermal paste on there. The heat sink is installed. Clamp, clamp on there. Clamp on there. And it's locked down. First thing I'm going to be doing is installing this power supply. It's an EVGA 1000 watt power supply that I had in. Uh, this originally came from this computer and I installed it temporarily into another one that I had but I'm going to be putting it back in here. So I'm going to have to run all the wires back through that hole over there. go and then we'll have four screws to hold this back on. I think I have some laying here. Just gonna put these in quick. Oops. So I got these four screws installed and now I'm gonna check on routing the wires up through the other side. Go. You can see I run the cables from the power supply up through Got some other ones that I need to tidy up here. And over here, I've got the CPU power supply hooked, or the CPU power hooked up. I've got the video cord power supply hooked up. And there is the power supply or the power for the main board. So now I'm going to go through and find out where these other wires go. Okay, I've got the CPU fan connector installed and I believe this one is for the LED on the fan which is way down in here. Got that connected. Now I'm going to go through and figure out where all these go. Okay, these are the connectors for the power LEDs, power switch, H. DD, hard drive LED, and the reset switch. So I've got to look up and see where they go down on the board. It looks like they might go down here. Okay, here's the diagram for the connections. And I have everything hooked up down there the way it's supposed to be according to the book. So now I'm going to start hooking up the rest of the cooling fans. I've got all the fans connected. Got to clean up these wires. Some of the SATA connectors are on. I'm going to move this hard drive from down here up to here because this connector down here is broken for the SATA connection. I had to get a new cable, a replacement cable, because part of that connector on the bottom one broke off and is stuck in here. So I've got the hard drive up in here and this orange cable going up to it for data and then I just have to supply power to it. I'm going to be installing this Crucial RAM CTK8G4DFRA32A I should be putting that into according to the diagram this slot and this slot. So I'm going to get that in and I'll be back. Got the memory in here and in here. Hopefully that's the right settings. So now I'm going to be installing this Kingston 240 gigabyte hard drive. Solid state drive. I don't know if it has a part number. Yeah. SA400S37 slash 24G. Got this from Amazon. 
I found out that the power supply connector that was on there up here is removable so I ran another one from this existing power supply up to that connector on here on this board so now I can hook the hard drive up here I don't know if that's a good idea or not but I've got that back on This cover will go back on there and there's a screw that holds it down that I have to put in and I gotta put the DVD monitor back in a burner or whatever it is and then connect everything back up so I got some cable ties on there I have to set this as my primary drive now and I should be about ready to start it up okay, I've got everything hooked up I'm gonna have to get some wire ties in there and clean up this wiring get over here the wiring up here I gotta clean up and I'm plugged in the back on an HDMI port I got power going to it and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully this works. I must have the wrong input, I would guess. like we have just about everything set up right so all I have to do is get an OS on it and just all the drivers and everything we should be good to go I've got everything cleaned up on this side wire wise now I'm gonna go and work on the other side I'm gonna get this cover on and then I'll work on the other side okay just want to show you that I do have everything back together. Everything is functioning. I'm running Windows 10 off of this um, solid state hard drive. And I've got another hard drive in here. running is uh, my file save so everything seems to be working pretty good just going through and doing some updates so that'll do it for this everything seems to be good well that'll do it for reviving this custom PC I hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and stay safe Thanks for watching.